I thought we'd take some geometry that has some algebra with it and see if we could figure this out. So we have these two squares. The first one, side of the first square, is 2x plus 8 units long. The area of this square is the same as the perimeter of another square. The side length of that one is x squared plus 48. So let's look at this for a second. We're going to compare these two squares. And we're going to find the area of one. And the one that we're going to find the area is has sides of 2x plus 8. So that's going to be, to find the area, it's base times height. And the base and the heights are the same. So we have 2x plus 8 times 2x plus 8. And that's the area. That's this one, isn't it? So that gives us that. From here, we want to work on this piece a little bit, don't we? We want to find the perimeter of this, and it has a side of that, doesn't it? So to find perimeter, we know that that's all the way around, so it's going to be four of those, so four sides that are all x squared plus 8 in length. Does that make sense? Okay, so that leads us to some algebra, and let's go ahead and do this easy algebra first. I'm just going to distribute this four, and so maybe some of you see that we could do it another way. I just chose it just because it's the most straightforward way. So it's 4x squared plus 32, isn't it? I'm like, why is that wrong? Because I'm not reading well. Somebody already called it. It says 48. I'm like, why? That, that's not good. Plus 192. I actually did do this problem before I started. So sorry about screwing that up. It's really important. I, I think more bad math occurs from careless errors than it does from not understanding the math itself. So I'm going to work on that and we'll work on that together. Now I'm going to do here, I'm going to use FOIL, aren't I? I'm going to use FOIL to multiply this. And it's going to look like this, I think. It's going to be first, outer, inner, and then last. So that would look like this, I think. It would give us 4x squared plus 16x plus another 16x plus 64. So if you don't mind, I'm going to simplify this a little bit. I'm going to get this to be 4x squared plus 32x plus 64 is equal to this other side, which we already did, right? Our right-hand side we already did, which was 4x squared plus 192. I'm just bringing it down as I do my algebra here, because we're supposed to here, remember, find the value of x. So we're looking for the value of x. <clears throat> so I'm going to gather like terms here. I think what I'm going to do, if you don't mind, I'm going to move all the, all the constants to the right-hand side, and I'm going to move all the variables to the left-hand side. So I'm going to get rid of this positive 4x squared by adding negative 4x squared to both sides. So negative 4x squared to both sides. Let's bring down my algebra some more, if you don't mind. And that gives us, this plus this is 0, so it gives us 32x plus 64 is equal to 192. I said that it's going to move all the constants to this side, so I'm going to add negative 64 to both sides. And that gives us 0 here, doesn't it? And 192 minus 64 is 128. So we have 128. So hopefully you can see where this math is coming from. This is 32 times x, so we can't subtract it. We have to divide it, right? It's being multiplied. It's 32 times x, so we have to divide it to get rid of it. So we'll divide both sides by 32. So we're going to divide both sides by 32. 32. And finally, we got this x by itself because 32 over 32 is 1. 1 times x is just x. And 128 divided by 32, I just happen to know, is equal to 4. All right? So x is equal to 4, and here's all of our math. Remember, this was the perimeter of this was the perimeter question over here, and this was the area question over here. Okay, all right, you guys, excellent work. I hope this was really helpful to you. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, and your comments are always welcome. Thanks.